goat's light soup and plantain fufu is the recipe for today and some of the ingredients sister fia oh yes this is the main chef our main chef that's the goat meat and we are adding some salt so sister fia is the one cooking and if she hears the voice of the ancestors she will stop adding salt to it <laughs> yes a little salt to taste according to your taste and then we have carrots they were all washed and clean and yes onion and now we are going to add some tin tomatoes i think tomatoes have been added now we are rinsing it and then we we'll add the water from the tin into it as well some water yes yes it's on fire now it already looks beautiful and colorful so you are most welcome to AIN I'm actually trying to stop saying you are most welcome to AIN but I think I have to welcome you um, we are here at a fierce kitchen and she's cooking for us today so i'm not the one doing the cooking but i have to do a voice over because we were having so much fun and you don't want all that we were saying in this video some water so that the meat can cook well so fufu and goat light soup is actually a food from ghana I'm sure some West African countries or other African countries might have similar ones. And it's such a mouth-watering combo. Goat's light soup and plantain fufu. She's adding tomatoes to it now and it's going to be covered and then it would simmer for some time so please stick around because we are about to explore some flavors here yes and see how people do different dishes different ways and styles and this is actually a beloved classic yes food <laughs> the food is a classic meal and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button ring the bell but also like like the video yes please do i appreciate that the soup is on fire so this is the meat is getting tender oh my god it's boiling nicely it's in a very rich broth it's infused with spices and herbs so i will put the ingredients in the description box so that you can if you missed anything or if i didn't say any of them that's the beautiful assistant chef you saw the main chef earlier so this is the assistant chef here so she prepped the meat already and i didn't want the video to be long so some of the things have been cut off but she washed the meat very nicely and she added her own spice mix and with 
and herbs that she blended and actually put in fridge so i think i found it very handy like to have something like that anytime you are cooking you can't keep blending every time especially if you just need a bit of the spice and herbs yes so we are now going to blend the tomato the onion what else the carrots <laughs> we are going to blend them it's still on fire the meat is still on fire simmering away So that is our very beautiful Ephia, aka also known as No. Our very beautiful Mary Asantua. I call her Ephia. I think others also call her Ephia. And she hosted me in her home on a Saturday. I went the whole day and I spent it with her family and I had a beautiful time with them. And now everything is blended yes and that's the main chef back we are going to add the blended ingredients into the simmering meat And we are rinsing the blender so we can add some more water to it yes it's already looking yummy 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 and then we give it a bit of a stir go us go us yes that's the goat meat on fire now and the soup it's looking great already light soup simmers away we are moving on to the perfect accompaniment yes. so that's the fufu flour that we are using i don't want to make adverts for any fufu Last of any story, you know, any particular that you prefer, you buy it and you follow similar method. This fufu is usually made from plantain or cocoa yam with cassava, at least. For us from Ghana, that's how we make our fufu. Usually we pound it. But this time we are using a flour of those ingredients. Yes. So this is the plantain fufu. She adds a bit of water to it so that it becomes easier. And so that also to get the consistency that we want. Fufu show what fufu is. So there are various types of fufu actually, and depending on which part of Africa you come from, some call it ogali and it takes a different form like ingredients and made differently but we from ghana this type is fufu because there are different kinds of fufu i realized yes and this one is actually made as i noted from plantain and cassava
So depending on what you are using, then the method will be very different. But with what we are using, this is how we do it. And when she adds water, she leaves it to boil over. So she makes it a bit strong. Is strong the right word? <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, as you can see, she makes it a bit thicker. And with time, adds water to it. show now it's molded into the shapes and into the sizes that we want the fufu is red and the soup is also ready 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 yes food is ready we are going to enjoy it now thanks so much for watching and please do subscribe hit the like button stay blessed and enjoy yourself do what makes you happy and all the very best to you thanks so much